what I mean by human 2.0, sort of the vision of a centaur, um, how to build one sort of from an architectural perspective, what we might want to think about, and then application domains and their expected imp impact. Technology is going like this, right? And, and human adaptability is kind of staying flat. And the problem is not just that we haven't had an upgrade in the human brain for quite some time, but we actually normally rely on technology to give us that upgrade or that edge. And so I think we're in this spot now where technology is not just sort of enhancing us, but it's actually kind of like kicking our butt. So we need to actually do some things that will allow us to sort of upgrade the wetware at the same time as we're you know, sort of incorporating all these new technology pieces. My argument is that, and this may be biased because I'm a neuroscientist, but I do think that some of the things that we're talking about in modern neuroscience are actually gonna give us that edge in our wetware. Today I'm specifically gonna talk about that side of the, of, the, of the page where I'm talking about merging brains with technology. I really wanna talk about this sort of enhanced human cognition through this merger. We have a concept at the Platypus Institute called Human 2.0. Um, and when we, we talk about Human 2.0, what we mean is right, this really broad picture of all the fantastic things that we can do to ourselves to, uh, to really kind of upgrade our experience, right? And so the, you know, the things that we want to be, right, are we want to be adaptable and creative, we want to have increased memory, we want to think you know, intuitively, we want increased processing capacity. These are all things that I believe right now we can actually work on in our human experience through, through neuroscience. On the other side of the page is actually what I'll call the emerging capabilities, you know, giving ourselves sensory enhancement through maybe the implantation or, or, or other types of sensory devices, brains being networked to one another, whether that's through the you know, sort of Internet of Things or actually Internet, you know, it, it connected to one another, stimulation of memory systems as well as the uploading and downloading of memories. So when I talk about Human 2.0, I want you to take a big perspective. I want you to think broadly, broadly about that. 